Welcome back, survivors. I'm the survival of this, and we return to the long dark. So, we started the move out of Blackrock. We had to deal with at least two packs of timber wolves, which just sucked to encounter at all. But we're into actually, where what is this zone called? Keeper's Paths North. Okay, so this is where Blackrock is. So I have to get from here, probably to here, to here, uh, probably here, 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 here to here, which then goes where we want to go, so we've got a long way to cover, and I probably want to keep going until we have nightfall, like we at least were able to go out and embark on this transition or this trek well into the night, so we should have a lot of daylight ahead of us, so I can try to navigate through this area, but once I can get to one of the more core areas of the long dark, like say, Timberwolf Mountain or Pleasant Valley, I should have a little bit more bearings of where I am and how to transition us slowly through some of the areas. My hope would kind of be to spend, like, get through a region per day, but that's going to depend on the weather and if we want to stop looking for, or stop and look for stuff too, because there's a lot of ground we'll cover, and that might also mean there's a lot of resources or equipment we could pick up. But for now, yeah, it's still very early in the day, I believe. We have a lot of time that we can at least hopefully get through this before any bad storms really come in. And just transition to another big area. Because this is called Keeper's Pass North, my guess is that this is, uh... There might be a Keeper's Pass South as well, so there are actually two zones we might have to go through. I have no idea if that is the case or not, or even where this will pop us out at. But I'm just kind of going on the only route that seemed viable to take. So we're just going to keep going through. I know we don't have a lot of food or water stockpiled. Well, we got a lot of coffee stockpiled, so... Speaking of, I might even have another one just to help with our weight. We did find a... Ah, uh, the peaches are low condition, but if I cook or warm those up, maybe that'll help or bring that up a little bit. I know you can bring raw foods condition up by cooking it, but I don't know if, like, canned food, that works too. You can see there's a lot of stuff that I have questions about. <laughs> but, at least we are on the move, and it feels like we're making some progress. Now, I'm hoping we'll connect to Timberwolf Mountain using this way. Because if we connect to Ash Canyon, that just means we're in another territory or an area that I have no idea the direction we're trying to go. Because truth be told, I don't know if I ever got out of Ash Canyon. Like, I know I started one survival series in it, but I don't think I ever navigated my way to get out of it. Like, we're pretty well equipped. I don't like how the snow keeps coming down heavier and heavier as we're going, but... That's why we're not wasting time, we're just constantly on the go. If all goes well, we can get out of this area before the storm really hits and we'll find shelter. Even if we have to hole up for a day or so. Because we've got the full survival toolkit with us, we've got the bedroll, which is never leaving the inventory again. We've got hatchet, hunting knife, and even the pistol, so if we do have to defend ourselves from anything that's not Timberwolves. I still feel like they're... They need to be exempt. Something has to be changed with them. Because it feels like you go through too many resources just to try to get them off your back. Even if it would be something where you get them off your back for the day, but then they're back the next day. Okay, oh boy. Well, we're coming up to wherever this is now. Because of the attacks I did suffer, I do need to remember, I think I only have like three bandages. Okay. Oh boy, this does not look like it's kind of like taking me to anywhere in particular. Oh, never mind, there is a cavern. I think I will try snagging some of the old man's beard lichen, though. Because I might need more antiseptic, depending on how things go. I think the timber wolves are only found in a few regions, but... 
In case they aren't, it might not be bad to have this on hand that I can make more antiseptic up. Leave... Okay, thankfully we are progressing and making progress. I don't know where we're going to. Cave, Keeper's Pass North. Thankfully it's bright enough I don't need to bring the lantern out to see. I do want to just take a look around for any equipment or items that might be around here. I didn't really do that in the Keeper's Pass, but that's because... I don't think there were really any major areas to stop for it. There were a lot of natural resources, like the rabbits that we came across, sticks, stones. That would have been an okay spot if I needed any of that. But because we are just trying to trek along, I think it's better to keep marching ahead while we have light. Okay, this might... Looks like this is just a dead end, but I'm not 100% sure. Okay. Oh, man. That's one of the issues about the caves, is they do twist and turn, and... You have a number... Quite a few branches you can sometimes go, but I think we stumbled upon the direction we're meant to. No, let me have the sardines now, just to keep our calorie intake up. And keep on our way. Okay, it's not a dead end yet. Yeah, I think we might have actually found the way we were supposed to go, just stumbling as I did. Okay. Uh, it's not bad to find this, but again, we're not... Oh, another hatchet, but you know what? I've got the one, I don't need to be weighed down more, so we'll probably leave it be. And it looks like up there is where we gotta keep going. Again, I'm already... Yeah, I'm already over our 35 kilogram carrying capacity as, as is. So adding another hatchet onto there, not what I want to do. Okay, so we're out of Keeper's Pass North, but where has this dropped us into now then? Keeper's Pass South. So yeah, it is another uh, region we have to try to figure our way out or through. Yeah, the storm is coming, but all of our meters are pretty good, so... I think maybe we just want to try to follow that road or get to that if we can. Um, okay, it looks like it's actually not too bad getting over to it. Uh, a deer carcass looks like it's been ravaged a bit, so I might have to be mindful of that. Yeah, you know what? If I can just get up to that road by crossing this... I'll have to mine in case there's thin ice, but I... Thankfully, this is pretty thick. If we get onto that road and we follow that, I think that's a sure sign we're moving towards civilization. The only reason we couldn't do it in Keeper's Pass North was because that bridge completely collapsed. But here, we've got power lines going, and I think there is a road that's... on the other side of this railing here. Oh, bugger. Okay, there's a couple wolves. Oh, I might... I don't know if I have to go that climbing route or not. But let me just sneak into the vehicle. Oh, candy bar. Is it food or... Yeah, I'll have it. I know it's low in condition, but... It was over 30%, so I think it was okay. Uh, what are you doing? Okay, we're going to hop in here and just maybe give it a moment or two to see if he leaves. Because as much as I have a lot in a toolkit, I'd still like to try to find a hunting rifle. Oh, bugger off, would ya? We'll have one more coffee just to help things out there.
Yeah, you know what? I don't see him anymore. I don't know if he'll... Okay, come on. Quick search. Nothing. Okay, back in. Yeah, so let him go. Hopefully he'll walk far enough that I can just start following the road without worrying about him. But I'd much rather deal with these wolves than a single timber wolf. Because these guys, at least you kind of know how their behavior is. And I think I'm going to be able to get... Yeah, I can get by them. Okay. Well, it, it's still curving, so at least it looks like the road's clear for a while, but... What I didn't like seeing was there was that one spot that had, like, some of those climbing briars or that, or... I'm not even sure what you would call those. And usually those can kind of be, like, your only access route sometimes. It's almost like a detour that you see... You're, you can sometimes be meant to take that. But at least here, this is much better to find. Oh yeah, this is a great area to kind of be in. Oh, and I see a trailer up there. So we've got some more shelter. I mean, the storm is still blowing in, but it's not... Oh, another wolf. God, they are pretty heavy in this region. I'm actually surprised, because we didn't even see a single one in the other uh, part of the pass. I guess they saved everything to be in this area. Oh. I just heard him. Okay, yeah, he took down a rabbit over there. So we should be safe just to give him some distance and get into that trailer. Wait a minute, that takes... That can go to Milton? I might actually want to go up there, because I... Or how does Milton connect to... Oh, pry bar, but we'll leave that. I might actually have to take a look at the full, like, world map and see. As, yeah, Mountain Town, if it's up here, it can connect somehow to Mystery Lake or Forlorn Muskeg, and that would really speed us along to get to the far territory. I could use this. Uh, we'll leave that, because that's only good on Aurora nights. The Storm Lantern we have works all nights. Uh, we'll leave that. Actually, you know what? I'll take that. And I might quickly make up a uh, new bandage or two. I, that will probably be able to replace our sports vest. Oh yeah, handily. Get that out of inventory. Actually, you know what? Hang on. I might see about getting the cloth out of that. Those are already... Oh, oh perfect. That's very good to find, because that means we're going to keep our revolvers in good condition now. Nothing in that. Nothing in the microwave. Uh, some mittens. Nothing in the crate. We'll take the book, because it is good fire material. Okay, right. Lockers have all been searched. I searched that container. I think what we'll do is just take a moment in here to... Yeah, only 20 minutes to harvest that. We'll get some of this cloth, make up a bandage or two, just to replace what was lost. And then... I'm leaning towards going to Milton. Just because if we can get there... Right, I don't have the cured rabbit to repair that. Yeah, I'll make a couple bandages bandages up. And actually... Yeah, we'll craft the one old man's beard too while we're in here. Okay, that sets us up pretty well there. I don't hear the wind blowing as much while we're in the trailer, so I wonder if maybe the storm's passed. But if we can get all the way to Milton using this pass... Oh, jeez. I thought he might have moved off from there, but I guess not. Hope nobody needs this anymore. We'll take it. Not that I'm hoping we'll need to use it. And yeah, we're going to go this way to Milton. I don't know how this will connect to that region. But I know Milton is in Mountain Town. And if we can get to Mountain Town... I think... Is that already the transition to Mountain Town there? If it is, this is going to be inc 
This might have been the very, very good call to have made. Now, I know Milton sometimes is crawling with wolves and it's like infested with it, but... We don't have to be there long, and there could be a chance we can find a hunting rifle in, uh... Storm Lantern buried in the snow, but we're good with what we've got right now. Now we're cooking with gas. That we are. Uh oh. Oh no, we can't go this way. Cause looks like the tunnel's caved in, so. You lied to me, game. Well, kind of, I suppose. That probably is a way to Milton, but. With it being collapsed like that, we're not going to have access there. Might have been for the best, too, because given, like, the look in the world map, who knows actually how far down this way you would have had to go to reach there. So we'll have to go the long way and try the other path that we saw. I have no idea where it connects to, though. But wherever it's connecting to, at least there's got to be roads. So it... There's a chance it might actually take us to Pleasant Valley. Yeah, you know what? Let me see if there's any firewood just to... We'll take it along just so that way whenever I do have to shelter up, I do have some means of getting a fire for a while. Yeah, that's just a black rock, but I don't know what's down this way. But, at least the way still seems to be pretty clear. Oh, looks like a few rocks and rubble that fell. And a bridge. We'll just keep going and see where it takes us. We're getting some nice vis- or some nice views in though, like seeing over the waterfall and the river there. Um, nothing in the back of the truck. Might as well, although it's probably the only time I'll be through here. Excellent. We'll take that. Yeah, I think it was a good call leaving a lot of the food and water behind, just because if we're going to new areas, that means there's new places to loot and much more to find. We're shielded from the wind, we're nice and warm, and it's basically just going for a leisurely hike. Just with a greater risk of wildlife attacks. Right, let's see what's at the end of the road. Uh, it does look... Okay, there is like a little gap over there I saw. But it looks like the road stays clear, so we don't have to take it. Ah, we'll take the lantern fuel. I wonder who owns this stuff. We'll take the matches. Honestly, at this point, actually, that's an interesting point when it comes to thinking about Long Dark because apparently the area this is set in. Oh, another bedroll. Yeah, you know what? I will take it just so that way I have a backup I could store somewhere. Oh, oh, all right, leaving the pass. Okay. Apparently, yeah, see, now bound, mines were staple of local industry on Great Bear prior to the collapse. So I don't know if a, like, I know there's a lot of vehicles that just, oh, I know exactly where we are in Pleasant Valley. Okay, this is perfect. It does mean we have a fair hike ahead of us till we eventually reach the far territory. But we're going to be able to get to some nice spots here. And the two big spots I'm thinking of hitting are the, I guess maybe three. There's the Pleasant Valley Homestead, which it just sits like, I think actually will be coming up on our left, we'll see the fields for it. There's the barn across the river that may have some stuff in there that'll help us. And then there's also the community center in the town area. But once we can hit the town, I think... I think there's the connection from the town to Coastal Highway through the mine, which then we can get up to Pleasant or to Mystery Lake through some hill. Oh, is that another firearm kit? Uh, Tuke, I'm not too excited about, but that I'm interested in. Useful. That's perfect. And we'll force the trunk open, see what we got in here. 
Nothing. Okay, well, we'll keep on our way. But yeah, so this is a good spot to be in. And one t I mean, that is actually kind of a neat thing, is... When Pleasant Valley was first put in, and I guess up until the Black Rock region was released... Oh, I think that's a wolf to the left there. Just kind of see the little silhouette going up that hill. But, uh, up until Black Rock region was released as a region, I think this used to be a dead end that was completely, uh, blocked off by, like, uh, debris and that. So as stuff gets added, they do change the old world to accommodate and add transition areas that do make sense. Uh, yeah, I'm going a bit slow, but that's also because of all the crap I've got on our selves right now. I mean, the Ballistic Vest is handy to keep things from biting and doing more damage to us, but you do have to accept you're going to be weighed down a lot by it. But at least there's a good sign. That's the fencing for uh, the Pleasant Valley Fields. So eventually there will be a turn off or a road to our left that we can just follow up and take us where we want to go. Truth be told, I'll have to see what I want to keep bringing with us. Because even trying to just go with, like, the toolkit for this migration... ...still had us really close to our over-encumbered point. But truth be told, we've actually made really good time going through this. I'm so used to the long dark, the cold being so punishing, you can't really make any progress for... ...or, like good amounts of progress because you'll start getting hypothermia and lose so much heat, but right now we are in great standing. Our condition has suffered a bit because of the timber wolf bites we took on our early hours leaving for this trek, but I think if we just stay inside uh, the Pleasant Valley homestead for a night, that'll recover quickly. Biggest thing is, we'll just have to be mindful for any of the wolves that might be out in the fields. And I... I'm pretty sure there can be a bear that's somewhere to the right, because there's... Yeah, there's Signal Hill up there. And there's a radio tower on top of that. Which sometimes does have good loot, but I... Again, I'm trying to figure out how I want to travel going forward. What I'd almost like to do is... See if I can find a moose in the region, and see if I can find the hunting rifle. Because if I'm lucky enough to be able to take a moose down, that satchel is going to basically solve all of my carrying capacity issues. Oh, actually... I'll have... There'll be a trade-off. I won't be able to use the, uh... extra insulation layer I've got on with using the carrying capacity. So I have to keep that in mind. But we'll worry about that far later if it ever becomes a thing. Right now, it's just nice to see we're getting to familiar territory. Yeah, here's the little outbuilding. And up there is the, uh, the farmstead, or the homestead. So we'll just pop in here for a moment, check and see if there's anything good that's been left behind. And then continue forward. This will come in handy. Yeah, we'll leave the pry bar, we'll leave the flashlight, we'll leave the scrap metal. Uh, that might be all that's in this building. Uh, I guess I can take a tinder plug, it's not going to be that much weight. Oh, another revolver. I'll me down. take it with me, and we'll s maybe see about leaving some stuff in the Pleasant Valley homestead. Island Gardens for Island People. Grow local. One thing I... I feel like I heard talk at one time or another when it came to Long Dark, but... There was, I think, a point of time... Oh, you know what? I actually should check and see if that revolver has any ammo in it. None. Okay. I was going to say, maybe it actually has a few rounds in it, and that's some extra amount we could have for our hunting revolver. Ah, 
Ah, let me have that, because I think that'll clear through. There's a little bit more weight off, but not a lot. Yeah, we're too encumbered to run. But thankfully, it looks like the wolves are staying out in the field, and they're not immediately around the farmstead here. Farmstead, homestead, whatever you want to call it, but... That was a great trek so far. If I really want to push it and get, like, right to the far territories, I do know... Fairly sure I know the route to take to it. But I do want to see about making sure we survive and thrive, so there is a few spots I do want to stop at, check and see what they've got, and see if we can get lucky with anything else. Like, when it comes to player homes for the Long Dark, the Pleasant Valley Homestead is probably one of the top ones because of so many features. It has a six cooking slot stove for its kitchen. It offers an outdoor deck so you can store your meat safely that you do get. It has a workbench in its basement that you can access directly in the house, so you don't have to go outside for it. Eventually, if we have a cooking skill up to level 5 and we can eat just all the carnivore meat, you just have, like, ample supply of wolves out here you could hunt. But it offers a lot of good stuff with it. So it might not be a bad idea just to make this home base and be able to lighten our load a bit. I am curious if we might get lucky with a hunting rifle here, but I don't actually know if that's one of the things that can spawn in the house. Another book. Oh, somebody left some herbal tea for us, almost like a welcoming present. Soda. Oh, backpack with a little thing there. Tomato soup, salt. Uh, dog food? Yeah, dog food. Another can opener, cooking pot, might as well just put right over there. Nope, no nope. carrots, cloth, more matches, more matches, nope, firewood. We'll check the fridge and then start seeing about probably looking at unloading this. Ooh, that's actually a really good find. Yeah, let's start looking at just unloading some junk. So, you know what? We'll get all of our food put in here just to ease our load there. We do have some cupboards around here, some cabinets. We'll just empty them out for anything. I think I can use this. Actually, you know what? I'm going to place the... Yeah, the cooking pot we'll place, and we'll also place the skillet, too. Just that way they're not weighing us down there. Nothing on that shelf. I will take all the toilet water there is, just as a staple of finding it. Really walk with this much gear. Oh, another sewing kit. Medicine shelf. Okay, I will probably use the kitchen as sort of like where we're staying, so I think we'll... Let's see, so that has condition 77, that's 93, so we'll take that one. Actually, I'll see about placing this here. Yeah, that can just be placed right there. We'll start using some of these cabinets to store our stuff in. Okay, more food into the fridge. All right, so we searched through these three cabinets. Okay. Firewood can go into this one. Uh, this one, first aid, clothing. We don't really have anything else. So this is this will be tools. Get all this out for now, just to lighten our load. I'll keep the storm lantern on me because that is pretty handy. Uh, might as well take the arrow shafts out, one of the can openers, the pry bar. Yeah, that lightened our load a lot already. And then I can even take those materials down. Ah, uh, we'll keep everything up here for now, but I'll... Maybe we'll do... We'll just do a step outside and step back... Ooh, actually, another cooking skillet. Another nice find. Yeah, this is why this stove here is just a prime reason to be here. 
Uh, bread is about two parts flour, one part water, add equal parts salt and rising agent, small pile, boat size, blah, da, da, da. I'm honestly surprised that doesn't turn into, like, a uh, recipe for something you could actually make. There's a way down the basement. Another firearm cleaning kit. Yeah, we'll go through much more of this next episode as we're kind of getting settled in, enjoying just having a little bit of a rest period from that hike. But we'll definitely put a lot of things to good use. Just going to step outside a moment, let the autosave do its work, and end the episode off. And maybe just a quick look here. This could be really And nice. we'll leave that out there. Yeah, everything's looking pretty good for us. I don't know how long we'll be in Pleasant Valley, but I don't plan on like getting stuck around here like, say, when I was in Black Rock region. There's nothing super major I can think of really getting to. So we'll just kind of explore some of the big hotspots I want and keep our progress going towards trying to get back to the far territories. But thank you all very much for joining me on this episode of Long Dark. If you liked the video, be sure to give a like. If you have any comments, tips, or tricks, be sure to in the comments right down below. Until I see you all in the next video episode, Survivors, please remember, as always, to take care and stay alive.